The shortest cable in the bridge below is A equals 10. So from here to the origin here is a length of 10. Find the length B. In order to find B, we should find the equation of this parabola. We'll define this point here as 0, 0. Thus, the vertex here is 10 units up, or 0, 10. So y equals ax squared plus 10. The parabola is simply up 10 units, and we're not sure what the a value is. The base of this bridge is 200 all the way across, and half of that is 100 across. So towards the right, we have 100 right and 60 units up. So this here is 100 comma 60. Here we have some x, y coordinates. So we could substitute x into here and y into here. We have 60 equals a 100 squared plus 10. 60 minus 10 is 50. And 100 times 100 has four zeros. Dividing both sides by the coefficient, 10,000. We have 50 over 10,000. And we divide top and bottom by 50, which is 1 over 200. We have the A value. Thus, y equals 1 over 200 x squared plus 10 is the equation of this bridge. We'll assume that these cables dropping down vertically are equally spaced. So we have 0 here, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4 parts. So over here we have 100, so half of that would be 50. One quarter of that would be 25, and adding another 25, we have 75. The x value is 75 for this particular cable. So when x equals 75, let's find the height. Let's find the y value over here to determine what b is. y equals 1 over 200, 75 squared, plus 10. And the result is 38.125 or 305 divided by 8. You sell 3,000 phone cases each month at a price of $20 each. For each $2 price increase, you sell 100 less phone cases. What price should you set to maximize revenue? It's good to memorize that how much money you make, your revenue, equals the number of items that you sell multiplied by the price per item. So by default, we sell 3,000 phone cases each month at a price of $20 each. Now the question is, should we increase the price? For each $2 price increase, we lose sales. So should we increase the price? Let x be the number of price increases. So if the original cost is $20, when we have a price increase, we add 2x. Because when x is 0, there is no effect on the price. But when x is 1, we add $2. So for each $2 price increase is represented by plus 2x. When x is 2, we have two price increases, or 2 times 2, which is $4. 20 plus 4 is $24 per item. So the coefficient of x is the actual amount of the price increase. Similarly, we have 3,000 minus 100x. If x is 0, it has no effect on the number of sales. However, when x is 1, with one price increase, 300 minus 100 times 1 is 2,900. And if x is 2, we have 3,000 minus 100 times 2, which is 200, which is 2,800. Let's use Desmos. 
Notice how this equation is a parabola. We punch it in here and we realize that there is a vertex. The R value is equivalent to the Y value. The revenue is the Y value here, which is 80,000. So when X is 10, we have the maximum revenue, which is 80,000. By the way, we can use technology to help us expand this quadratic out, well, from alpha.com. And we realize we have a quadratic, negative 200x squared plus 4,000x plus 60,000. We can find the x-valued vertex by using the vertex formula, negative b over 2a. We know that x is 10. And when x is 10, we can substitute back into the revenue function to figure out that the y-value, the maximized result, is 80,000. Now, when finding out how many phone cases are sold, we previously thought the answer was x equals 10, but do not confuse this with the number of sales. Revenue equals number of items multiplied by the price per item. We're interested in the number of items, the number of sales, and it's not x. It's actually the number of items equals 3,000 minus 100x, and that x happens to be 10. 100 times 10 is 1,000, and 3,000 minus 1,000 is 2,000. So 2,000 phone cases must be sold to maximize the revenue. Let's, just out of curiosity, figure out the price per item. When x equals 10, the price equals 20 plus 2 times x, and x is the x value of the vertex, which is 10. We have 20 plus 20 is 40. So the optimal selling point is $40. And $40 times 2,000 is $80,000.